I always thought that paintings had to be something kind of big and significant, um, like a specific moment or about something spectacular. And then I discovered um, the black British artists that were kind of around during the 1980s and are still around now. They were just making work about kind of everyday scenes, growing up in their family homes. And I looked at their work and like felt warmth because this was something that was familiar to me. They were making spectacular paintings about very mundane, everyday things. And that gave me the permission I needed to like look into myself and figure out how I can kind of make this about me also, um, not just paintings. So they were a great starting point. I don't necessarily think that I paint like any of these artists, Sonia Boyce, Claudette Johnson, Labena, but in terms of context and subject matter, they were quite significant for me. I'm British Nigerian, like born in England, but with Nigerian heritage. I was born in Dagenham, which is like London, Essex, on the border. Lived there for about 10 years, then moved to Stevenage. Then left Stevenage when I was 18 to go to university in Newcastle, where I was for five years, and then I'm in London again. Using the family photographs within my work began like in the middle of my fourth year of university. It was just after Christmas, and my degree show was five months later, so I'd wasted half the year exploring other ideas. And I was home and I don't know why, but I just grabbed an album on my way out. Like my mum was in the car and I was like, wait one minute, I just need to grab something. And I took it back to Newcastle and began um, kind of deconstructing the images and working from them. Um, but I didn't know what I was doing or where it was going. It's really instinctive. I started with taking photographs of the photos and then using PowerPoint to kind of crop them and pick which bits of the photograph I wanted to use. From having like a square on the computer that acted as the canvas, I could see what would be missing in an actual painting. And from that point, I just used um, like Google Images um, and Instagram to kind of fill in the gaps. It could be a plant or a light or a chair. And then on PowerPoint, I was able to pick the color of the background and kind of create the image that way. So that was how it began. Now I don't need anything. I can kind of just imagine how I want the paintings to look. So the hard bit is kind of making the paintings make sense because in a way they don't because they're not necessarily to scale. They're obviously not from life, but still they kind of need to flow and kind of tell a story. So it is collage in the sense that I'm taking like source material from different places, but you can't see the lines where one image starts and another one begins. I think my painting style's the same, but I just think I've gotten a lot more confident, like being able to trust the process a bit more and trust my brush marks. But I think how the faces end up like coming out depends a lot on the photographs. I think if an image is higher quality, then I can see more detail, which normally means more colours. But when an image isn't so clear, then I kind of have to paint what I see. And that's when I guess the slightly more abstracted faces come into play. And then works on paper. I really like that kind of the looseness you can sometimes have with drawing. I notice that on paper, I am a lot freer than I am on a canvas. And I don't know if it's because, you know, a canvas costs a lot more money, so you're a bit more precious with how you work on it. The idea was with the works and paper was to try and get the technique and texture on the paper and then see if I can recreate it onto the canvas. But then I realised the works and paper worked well as works within their own right. The blocks of colour are just really instinctive, kind of referring back to the colour wheel, but sometimes I'll go out of my way to pick colours 
that I know technically don't go together, but then I know I have to work harder to make them go together. And I kind of like that challenge. The use of patterns, that started with some of the earlier works that I was doing. I think those photographs were taken in the 90s, so there was a lot of um, big sleeves, textured clothing, patterned carpet, awful wallpaper. And then I found that there was like visible pattern in the photographs that were taken in Nigeria with the traditional um, like Ankara prints and lace. And it was kind of just playing on those things over amplifying them in the paintings. And I realised I just found pattern and colour really interesting. And then now what happens is the more awkward colours tend to be the cheaper paints. So it means I've got more freedom to explore with those colours, which is great. There are like the same colours in quite a few paintings. So I kind of see it as them kind of like engaging with each other. Like the paintings kind of act as a family within themselves. I didn't plan all the paintings that were going to be in the show. Like it don't work like that. I just knew that if I started one, the ideas for the next would happen and they've just kind of like bounced off each other. So from making more work, more ideas have developed and I like more are coming out and I'm nearly, nearly done. The title was taken from a quote by Chimamanda Adichie. The original full quote is, our histories cling to us, we are shaped by where we come from. I just thought that was quite fitting to include all the paintings with some being family photographs, some not being I wanted to kind of think of it as moving forward a bit, like with the body of work. Using the family photographs kind of helped me to recenter myself. So now that the family photographs have come to an end, my work will change and evolve with other things that I'm interested in. Like I was on the bus the other day and I saw two um, like white older ladies, maybe about 70, having like chips and egg, um, like in the window, in front of um, like a cafe outside. And I was like, I want to paint them. Like they look interesting. I wish I'd got a photograph because I was like, this is like an iconic um, image.